Yes, it's true. It's not fake, it's not even a clickbait. The BL Heli 32 is basically dead. The news of the day is that the BL Heli AS, the company that holds the rights to the BL Heli brand and is the only owner of the code of the BL Heli 32 firmware, stopped providing any new licenses or support for their products. They basically immediately today killed the BL Heli, especially the BL Heli 32, which is a not open source program. Why? Because Putin. That's why. But let's go slightly back in time and let's explain few of the cavetas of the whole situation. The most popular firmware for the ESCs to use in the RC and FPV hobby is of course the BL Heli. BL Heli comes in a few flavors. There is the BL Heli, BL Heli S and the BL Heli 32, where BL Heli 32 is the closed source software owned only by the BL Heli AS company and licensed to the manufacturers of the ESCs. If you want to put the best of the best firmware, BL Heli 32, in this case on your hardware, you have to pay the license. So far, everything should be clear. BL Heli 32, fully proprietary software owned only by the BL Heli AS. On top of that, we had the BL Heli S and BL Heli, just the BL Heli, which are open source. The decision, okay, let's call it a decision of the BL Heli AS to stop providing any software and basically pull back the whole BL Heli 32 from public is as follows. Starting from today, the ESC manufacturers will not be capable of obtaining new licenses for the produced, freshly produced ESCs. It also will not be possible to upgrade the existing BL Heli 32 ESCs to a newer versions. We are not even talking about the future versions that are in the development, just upgrading the ESC. This is what means that BL Heli AS stopped any kind of the support. But this, to some extent, affects also the BL Heli S and the standard BL Heli. From what I was able to figure out, the BL Heli AS will also pull down the source code for the open source versions of the BL Heli. It doesn't, of course, mean that the source code for the non closed BL Helis are lost, because everyone who had a copy on the local machine still has it, but BL Heli AS officially stopped distributing the source code and the binaries for BL Heli. In other words, that sucks. I know that you are asking a question, what exactly the fuck happened? What happened? Putin happened and war in Ukraine. According to the announcement of the lawyer of the BL Heli AS, BL Heli can no longer distribute their software because there are sanctions on Russia. They basically cannot export to Russia anything that is on the prohibited list. You might ask, but were they exporting the BL Heli software to Russia? Doesn't really matter. In this case, the situation is as follows. BL Heli AS cannot guard guarantee that their software is not used by Russia and there is, let's be honest, a pretty good chance that it is actually used by Russia to attack Ukraine, BL Heli S was forced to roll everything down. It doesn't really matter that they are not exporting, they are not sending anything to Russia. It's just fully enough that the BL Heli AS registered in Norway provides the software used by the Chinese manufacturer to be used by Russia to attack Ukraine is enough. So yeah, if you want to blame someone, blame Putin. It's all his fucking fault. Yes, of course, this affects us, the RC and FPV pilots that are using this thing only as the hobby. Because in the future, the access to a BL Heli 32 will be, if not impossible, then at least highly limited. And it also affects BL Heli AS because they lost their main and most probably only source of the income. If they are not writing license, 
licenses for Chinese manufacturer to put on their boards, they are not getting any money. And most probably this was a quite lucrative business. Because let's be honest, since Russia attacked Ukraine, the number of drones produced single-use drones produced and used by both sides of this conflict grew. How much? Mm, I speculate that around six or seven times more drones are produced and were produced in 2023 than in 2021. Just a prediction, you know. But let's stop discussing the legal and the business side of the thing. Let's talk how this news affects us, the RC and FPV pilots. And there are three aspects of this problem. Aspect number one is the short-term availability of the ESCs on the market. Most probably, over here, nothing really changes. Most probably, manufacturers still have enough of the licensed batches purchased that they can still manufacture, deliver for at least, I don't know, a few months. And what's more importantly, if you already have the ESC or have the drone with the ESC flashed with BL Heli or BL Heli S or BL Heli 32, this thing will continue working like before. Nothing really changes. The second aspect is is the mid-term availability of the ESCs on the market. Over here, my prediction is that in the second half of the 2024, indeed, it will be slightly harder to purchase a new ESCs for the drones. Manufacturers will not be able to manufacture, to produce anything with the BL Heli 32, at least officially. Yeah, I know, they can always try to pirate this thing and they will have to start switching to something else. And luckily, because there is something else. The BL Heli 32 is not really the only software we can use. There is a Blue Jay, there is AM32, there is Escape32. There are a couple options on the market and that means in the longer term, my prediction probably somewhere in the beginning of the 2024, all the Chinese manufacturers will actually switch to alternative softwares that deliver basically almost the same functionality as the BL Heli 32 delivers. So yeah, that's the situation. Nothing will change in the next month or so. Yes, there might be some problems in the second half of the 2024, but starting from the 2025, we should be fine one more time. But no, we will not be buying the new ESCs with the BL Heli 32 firmware. We will be just flying with something else. If you're asking yourself a question, what should you do now? The answer is do absolutely nothing. If you have it already flying on your desk, in your drawer, anywhere, nothing really changes for you. Yes, you might try to flash over the BL Heli 32 with AM32 or Escape 32 or anything like that, but at the moment probably you will not get any benefits out of that deal. Most probably it's better to wait to figure out on how the situation will look like in the future and then only make a decision. It's also highly probable that the procedure of flashing AM32 or Escape32 over BL Heli32 will improve in the future. It will be just a smoother process, mostly because those projects will just get much more traction than before. And then finally, we will be able to make a decision. But for now, just Happy flying. And here's the next video you should watch. And yeah, Putin, you bastard.